Alrighty, welcome back to a second special edition of Steve Eats 4th of July. So we already had the burger. If you didn't see the burger, go back into the to the YouTube channel and check that out. So Ben, my trusty cameraman, what we have here now is homemade mac and cheese, homemade potato salad, homemade deviled egg, and corn on the cob. Uh, I cooked the corn on the cob a little differently. Uh, I wrapped it up. You can get at me now. I wrapped it up in aluminum foil with butter and garlic on the inside, wrapped it up and put it on the grill. Uh, the potato salad is just your standard Idaho potatoes chopped up, boiled till they're just a little tender. You don't want to cook them too much because they'll get mushy. Uh, mixed in with some peas and then some seasoning. Uh, the mac and cheese is my wife's speciality. Uh, it's just boiled elbow macaroni. You can use whatever macaroni you want. Uh, mixed in with three or four different special kinds of cheeses, which I'm not gonna uh, put out there because that's a secret family recipe. And then you take uh, bread crumbs, melt butter, and mix the bread crumbs up until they're of a consistency where they're just barely wet. Okay, they're almost, it's almost like they're almost too dry, and then you sprinkle that on top and that a nice even, don't cover the whole thing, but give it a good cover. Then wrap it in aluminum foil and cook it in the oven for about 30 minutes. Uh, then take the aluminum foil off and cook it for about 10 more. And then deviled egg, uh, it's my wife's again, special recipe. Uh, it's just hard boiled eggs cut in half, take the yolks out, mix them up with some mayo, some mustard, and a variety of seasonings. So let's start with that. The deviled eggs are one of my favorites. You can see that bad boy right there. I've already had a couple of these and they're so good. So and it's for me, it's bite size. Man, that's so good. So good, so good, so good. All right. Let's do the mac and cheese. It's really got a lot of cheese in it. Yeah. Some like mac and cheeses, sometimes you get out there and they're really soupy. Uh, yeah, that can be okay sometimes, but th this is not soupy at all. The cheese is thick and gooey on the inside. <clears throat> As I choked it up on a piece of it. That would be an interesting version of Steve Eats, wouldn't it? Steve dies. Man, this is good. Hmm. Absolutely fantastic. Let's move over to the potato salad. Get a couple peas in there. Pretty simple, nothing fancy, but just really, really good. It's cold, served cold. So you boil the potatoes and the peas the night before. Then you can mix them together, keep them in separate com containers, and put them in the fridge overnight so they're chilled the next morning. And then, like I said, mix with mayonnaise. Uh, you can put a little bit of like a brown mustard in there to give it a little bit of spice if you'd like. And then a variety of seasonings if you want to put. I just, I like salt and pepper is generally what I go with. Hmm. Like I said, it's very straightforward, very simple, but it's just really, really tasty. All right, so let's go to the corn on the cob now. I don't care what anybody says, Jersey corn on the cob is the best corn on the cob there is. And now I will show you years of training. Got a little bit of this salt on here. So I cook this one on the grill. Usually what I do is I steam it. I put it in a, in a steamer pot. It has a little bit of water on the bottom and has a basket that sits in. You put the corn in there so it's not actually sitting in the water. And then as the water in the underneath boils and steams, it cooks the corn perfectly in like seven minutes. But this one today we cooked on the grill, wrapped in foil uh, with butter and garlic on the inside. Now I'll de demonstrate the proper way to eat Jersey corn on the cob, as taught to me as a young child by my grandmother, Phyllis Waddington Miller. Here we go. Start at one end and work your way to the other like a typewriter. Oh, that's fantastic. That is so good. Any little ding, go back to the start. Mm. Delicious. Absolutely the best. All right, so I think we hit everything today. We got some hot dogs as well, but you know everybody's eating hot dogs before. We don't have to get too carried away with that. So everybody have a happy 4th of July. Uh, remember that it's the birth of our nation, the greatest nation in the history of God's green earth. And until next time on Steve Eats, cheers.